stay tuned for an exciting message from our sponsor. Espresso is talking about it, but first, a message from the front. Our war correspondent is deep behind in friendly lines. From the wall. Siri, boys and girls, it's another fine day here at the front. What we have here was another enemy raid attempt in the night. Our fine boys did a good job of holding them off. <coughs> here we are, ready to push back for another fine day. That's how it goes around here. Tighten your butt for the night time, and then in the daytime, try to push back. Take back that which they tried to take from us. came for a land, they left a pile of smoldering corpses. They came by air, they came by sea, they all ended up the same, down in the ground it seems. Our engineers and uh, personnel worked long into the night to do their best to make sure we survive the next night's onset. Medic, anywhere? War is hell, but sometimes we still gotta provide able news, and that's what we're here for. Here's the wall, the place where they tried to take it all. Bad rhymes aside, we here at the International Newsroom want to provide you straight facts. Here we have had another onslaught. There's about 50 a day. Hundreds of brave men and women giving their lives on both sides of this needless and bloody conflict may, may go on forevermore. <laughs> That's the sentiment on both sides, I mean. I have a wrench. I have a wrench. I have a wrench. The enemy had attempted to push us through the middle of, with a pincer move. We had our... The, the wall has two main lines, and this is where our weak spot is. It's still being built up. In the daytime, we pushed back, though. They had pushed a good hole, a spearhead, if you will. In the night when we weren't looking. Just trying to hold on. Those sneaky buggers. Here I am, war correspondent Jimmy, on the front lines, doing my best to provide the intelligence we need. Not only for you back home, but for the boys here on the front. We have quick relays of all this information. Not a thing goes by that we do not see. Beautiful. Give it to them, boys. Just like on the training ground. Oh. Some get a little too zealous, but don't worry, that camera cut away. He was quickly whisked away off camera, boys and girls. Peace, uh, to fight another day. After pushing back their spearhead, we pushed back up onto their uh, base that they had dug in. Watchtower on the west. Enemy watchtower on the west. After cutting off their spear's head, we went back for the heart of the head of their other spear, which was their original way into our land. Their fight was an ingenuity, ingenuity based one. Too bad we had brunt force they have and a base down the, road the Lord Spaghetti Monster on our side. <laughs> no, they did not give up the fight willingly.
Oh no, boy! Let me see if I can find some help for you now. Oh goodness, I am not a medic. medic. I am not even allowed to pick up a weapon, but they make you carry one out here. Well, I find help for this fine fellow. Here's a update of what happened to form this fine wall. Our war, co our war started out as a simple matter, quickly escalating here at the front. Our engineers and war brass planned for weeks, putting up tank traps and various fortifications that eventually led to this fine, fine, fine thing that we call the wall. The enemy from the north must be kept there at all costs. He is a soulless husk of an enemy. A zombified corpse, if you will. Living, some would call it. But what is life? <laughs> <laughs> Having seen the inside of many of these enemies, I can tell you, surely, son, they are not like us. <laughs> East and abominable snowmen of the north must be kept back at all costs. Do not worry, the, the wall is the finest fortification in all of human history. 5,000 years of human evolution hath produced what on top of a million years of biological evolution is truly the perfect defense mechanism for any engagement. Here our brave troops prepare for another day's engagement with the enemy. Look at the curves on their bunker, boys. Make you blush. <laughs> Miles behind the line, our brave brass does their duty of patrolling the uh, rear corridor and supply lines, like all good good uh, leaders do. Fighting from the rear! That is the brave way to do it. Tally ho, fo folks! Meanwhile, those lazy runabouts on the front lines. Our generals occasionally do stick forward to give them a good th thumping in the rear to make sure they stay on, the bu on their butts. <laughs> Stay on their ready on their butts instead of laying about on their butts, of course. <laughs> yeah, our generals plot for the next wave of enforcements and reinforcements that will be built on top of the old ones. We were thirsty for cold water, so we built a bridge to Antarctica to get ice cubes. We do what we want here in the, in the north. But we're from the south. Check out this cool thing we brought from the south. Guns. We have guns that have guns. Our guns, whose guns have guns, are very schvelty and should be respected. Colonial weapons will not be not be uh, misunderstood this day, I tell you. I don't even know what kind of Dr. Seuss shit we got going on here, boys and girls, but... The wall is the embodiment of human perfection in human defense form. Those savages in the north will never take it. We have the numbers, we have the technology. We have a cannon big enough to stick all of their army troops in it at once and fire with one shot. To the north we go, boys. First, we must get their Kaiser into this shell and fire him northward back to his own capital. Victory with one shot. With this line, it can be possible. <laughs> General Chrysanthemum climbed into the cannon to inspect its thorough bore. Some say a wall like this would have taken 200 years to construct. In fact, they are wrong. It only took 10. <laughs> well worth the investment. Thank you to the brave engineers and mainly supply people that keep this thing going. The front, the soldiers at the front are one thing, but it is the chills and the true manners of the back ways that keep this thing going. My hat is off to you, boys and girls. Of all ages. I but a brave news correspondent here on the front doing my part as well. 
Now for a quick tour of the actual uh, line. And remember, this is just the western line of our wall, which is actually the smaller line. I don't have permission to show you the, the full line. It is far too much sensitive material in case enemies are, are watching. You have to use your imagination. I will show you a map for context here in just a moment, facts, ladies and gentlemen. But look at the scale of it. Ever watchful of the enemy, though. They built this wall for a reason. We must keep out those bloody Huns if we can at all costs. Ah, you can see we are we are on the western front of the of the wall. At first I thought it was the full wall, but we are the lesser wall, of, of course. The lesser wall is no monochrome to describe its its degree of defense capability, this is for sure. Ace upon us, her grandeur, boys. FW filter warning for this video was not not in vain. It, it's, it's something to behold. Who needs an imagination when you can see it in all its true 8 bit camera glory? 8 millimeter, I mean, of course. What is 8 bit? Devil Tark, of course. Must be some coldly broken. Thanks for keeping me alive back there. This is a dangerous work we have here. Now that you're caught up on the story itself, here we are basically pushing up on their main base that's still trying to take our... take a foothold within our territory. The wall will not be taken. We must push them back. Make an even bigger wall. <laughs> Mainly thanks to the brave men and women of the armored divisions and the medics that keep us alive, we were able to push further. Further than any man had before. Across the no man's land, through the flaming trenches of corpses and, and, and dogs fighting over loose pieces of rotten meat. Once were men. Oh, it looks like I'm going to join them. Well, I was already a rotted piece of meat, so best feed the dogs as it were. Oh, if you must. Very well. Uniform, I didn't, I didn't know what I know it's the Geneva Convention that requires you to keep me alive, but must you? <laughs> Give me a grenade, Sir Chadwick, and, if, and, and move on. I'll be fine. As I was saying, the, the comfortable medics in this in this ever Godfrey forsaken fight that keep us alive. Knock those doctors of our world would keep us alive for 300 years each if it wasn't for this war. All that they've learned from the destruction of men. And it is worse. By Jove, we pushed up. Now it's time to put cover on those dirty buggers. Back into your hole. That cold, pale bucket you call the North. They had tanks and anti weapon, anti uh, anti personnel as well as anti uh, vehicle cannons at the final gate. The dirty guns of Navarone must be silenced in order to make way for the future. Victory is the future. Meet 
meantime, good thing I brought a reload. Just because you're here as a non-combatant doesn't mean you have to defend yourself. Because you do. It's, uh, I mean, back to you in the studio here in a moment. You can see that they were well entrenched. Numerous counterattacks had failed many days before. Here, this is probably the 50th attack made on this position. Finally, finally with the suggestion of, of this nose correspondent, they realized there was a flank position on the right. And we kept them busy with heavy, light arms fire where they pushed to the right. And at the right moment, we struck. They didn't know what hit them. Their funny little gates didn't stop the onslaught of ten... Oh, no, ten, five. Heavy tanks rolling in of various degrees. Artillery tanks, anti-personnel tanks, two good-sized medium tanks, and those guns were eventually silenced. along a modified camera I turned into an explosive just for this occasion. Must sh silence the guns so we can push forward. Oh drat, there's still one or two of them left. They are cockroaches. We killed most of them but just a few left it would appear. Things I do for the fi for the crews for the f people back home. This is the shot of a lifetime. I have to do it for the people back home. Keep your head down, boy. Can't live to get if you can't win the pulse if you don't live to 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 receive it. <laughs> Has that been invented yet? I don't know. Again, with the use of fancy camera works, perspective, and occasional bullet fire, we kept them occupied while the tanks pushed around to the rear. By the time they realized what was happening, it was far too late. <laughs> they had us on numbers and probably the size of cannons, but we had numbers of cannons and size of brain on them. <laughs> I drove there inside. It was time to whip out the wrench and do my other job, which is to steal and sabotage as much as possible. That's the only reason they let us free press, press people along. They train us all as saboteurs. Time to take out the enemy garbage. Thank you, my friend. The Jovia music always gets me ready for death, but not yet. This microphone still on? I mean, we're here to do our best to provide responsible news to the people back home. I have no... I still have a healthy fear of death like every other man. This stuff doesn't desensitize you. Hell, it makes you uh, respect life even more. Stay in school, kids. Good save, Charlie. Good save. <laughs> Was my name Jimmy? I don't know. I got PTSD. I, I can't remember who the hell I am anymore. <laughs> Is that microphone still on? Oh, man. Oh, here's my chance, boys. We 
You've eliminated them just quick enough to get that charge in there. Say cheese, you mofo! Oh, get out of there! Oh, oh, never mind. Ah. Uh, you saw that junk? He owed me ten dollars! It's the forties! We have that kind of thing going on here. Don't mind me, I'm being helpful, see? See? Yeah, see? That lazy corpse over there, he's not being helpful. What a selfish jerk he is. Don't you worry. I'll thrift through his belongings and make sure we, you know, put them back to work. Let that be a lesson to you, buddy. You better uh, keep keep your keep your keep your nose clean. Plus, you're using your wiener or something, because you know there's a lot of them. Oh goodness! If I'd have washed behind my ears, I wouldn't have died right there. See, that's why you gotta have good hygiene. It's the forties. Or the, or the gout will get you. <laughs> it's like Agent Orange, but, Agent Orange, but crispier. <laughs> but yeah, here I came back. I'm a war correspondent, bro. Uh, Kevin, they killed our war correspondent, Jimmy. This is for him, brother. I don't want to be here. Ah! I don't want to die, but it, uh, that's for you, Jimmy. Ah. You will be remembered, brother. You had a harder goal and a personality like no other. Jimmy. I think he was British or something on an occasional trip to Russia. A little bit of Midwest in there. I don't know. Who knows, brother? It's a hell of a world, motherfuckers. I mean, uh, mother flubbers? It's the 40s. We don't talk about that yet. Those curse words aren't invented for another 10 years. We gotta discover him in a, in a box under Hitler's bed or something, don't we? Oh yeah, here we are pushing past the enemy. We t irradiated them to dust. Revenge for Ashtown or something in another dimension, because who knows what that is. Anyway, we pushed him back into their stinky hole. That's the wound, I guess. And look, oh goodness, Jimmy, in your memory, the enemy have donated us a, a peace offer so we don't go straight to their leech of a leader's house and, and put, a, put an end to it. Look at this sweet new news van, Jimmy! Who says war has no advantages? I lost a best friend, but I gained a new one. And this one's way more useful. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> it's the facts of life, brother. Look at this thing. She got four-wheel drive. Woo, doggy! <laughs> I'm calling you Jimmy, too. Jimmy, too. We're moving out. <laughs> <laughs> She even purrs like Jimmy. Wait, wait a minute. Did I, is the microphone still on? Disregard that previous comment. <laughs> I meant purr in a platonic sense, because this is the 40s. <laughs> Me and my platonic purr and Jimmy too uh, proceeded back to base after having done throttled the enemy, pushed him out of our territory. That crater back there was their former leader's home. He, he ain't welcome around these parts any longer. We sure did show him, boys. <laughs> Tune up them tunes, brother. We got a, They got an aftermarket radio in this thing. This thing's German. They got a nice seat in here. Yeah, they got heated seats. All the junk, brother. They got all sorts of kinds of... I love me and my American. It's got that six-wheel drive, but this sucker's got something nice going on. Probably the camel and the bulletproof windows, but, you know... Oh, that's right. Victory lap past the map, past our mighty wall. The the the, the spoils of war are, are, are glorious, brothers. I'd shed a tear for you, Jimmy, brother, but this thing's heater uh, melted all my tears in my heart. So I'm feeling, you know, my tears were frozen before because our last truck didn't have heat. But man, I'm all, it, it, my tears are blurred in my eyes. I forget what you look like now, Jimmy. But Jimmy too's looking great. You'd have loved her. <laughs> I know you loved yourself, Jimmy. So Jimmy too's a perfect combination. I love her just like you loved yourself. <laughs> War's hell, but it does mean you can't get a sweet new news van. And the next day we push hard, deep into enemy territory. They try counterattacking once again. In Jimmy's fierce memory, we did push all the way to. 
the enemy's capital, uh, more like two miles up the road where we made another base and made some turkey sandwiches. Turkey burgers? Turkey salad? Tur turkey, turkey, uh, turkey, turkey on rye? That, that's a sandwich too, isn't it? I don't know. I got PTSD just like Jimmy did. Or was his name Billy? Uh, who, who knows any longer, really? What is war? Are those cannons on fire before they fired the shells? Man. We fought them on the beaches. We fought them on the snow. No time for snowmen when you're a burning corpse, I guess. Ain't war grand, boys? Oh, sorry. So I was trying to kid again tomorrow. Well, don't you worry. We got plenty more holes for them and for us and for anybody else. There goes the Jimmy, too, but it's all right. I'll find another. By the heat of the enemy's corpses, we did stay warm that winter. It was a good winter indeed, boys. The following morning, we did proceed to then shove them from across the river, pushing deep into their territory. We made a... <laughs> the, the, the logs that we hadn't used for corpses, of corpses, we used and made a bridge out of. The following day, we showed up on a, a fine new front on their shore. The wall is ever expanding. Here are some captains we took. The joyous face of the locals were warming our hearts. Or was that the radiation? May the thousand year fireball that is this war never go down. Tune in next week. Only two miles in either direction. I'm guessing at least a mile in, in that direction, hopefully. That's called victory around these parts. This is for Jimmy, you sons of jerks! It's amazing the places you can go when you got a custom news van donated by the enemy. Their sacrifice was appreciated. Afterwards, we then used the uh, you. We made another bridge, big enough for the Jimmy Two, or was it the Jimmy Three at this part? Out of their own corpses to get across the river. News must go on, brothers. We appreciate the enemy's donation of their corpses so that the news could go on. I'll probably be dead soon, so stay tuned next week for my for my replacement. Or his replacement. Hell, his name is probably Jimmy too, so Oh wait, that's the van. Well uh, his name will be uh Jimmy four and a half. <laughs> they blew many holes in the walls. Don't mind Jimmy four and a half there. We'll we'll get him fixed just like this wall here. The wall and war will resume next week, boys and girls. Or is it tomorrow or was it yesterday? I too have PTSD. <laughs> which is a which is a disease that is not recognized by the uh, medical association of wherever. It doesn't exist, therefore I do not exist. Therefore this war does not exist. In fact, this is peacetime. Wait till you see the actual war start. It could happen at any moment. This is in fact Boy Scouts, preparing to earn their next badge. Here's some of the more overzealous boys are working overtime. Put in next week when we learn if you can earn a badge flying and shooting and also whittling a small, uh, you know, woodcraft thing of some kind. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Despite all the blood and devastation, we have vowed victory once again, boys, from the mouth of defeat. The enemy crying his way home to, to poor old Sasquatch leader. Try again next week, you poor dogs. We got plenty more where that came from. Ha 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 ha.